Still too low. Yeah, I like this one. <laughs> What's up tricksters? My name is Charlatan. I'm an all-time radiant player, the king of solo queue and the number one most requested Valorant coach. In today's video we're trying to improve an ascendant controller main that has zero strategies and discipline in his gameplay on Viper and Omen. If you enjoy this type of content be sure to like, comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon to boost the YouTube's algorithm. And if you're interested in coaching yourself make sure to join my official Discord server from description down below. Other than that, enjoy in this one, baby. When you're playing Viper, a lot of players uh, think that they are conditioned to start on the B site. The whole power of Viper is being able to, you know, like do this type of a smoke here and completely delay the enemy's plant and delay the enemy's push on B, blah, blah, blah. As I've explained like uh, in, in the videos, your quote unquote uh, default bomb site is A much harder for the retake than the B site because of the overall map design and the amount of shit that enemies can do. I need you on Icebox to like always play the A site in the first round. As a first round strategy on Icebox when you're playing Viper is the following. Basically in the first round what you can do, you can do the wall that actually looks like something like this. And basically you can buy a frenzy right here or maybe you can go even with a classic pistol shorty. You purchase the snake bite and you push as the light shield if you're playing the classic pistol shorty strategy. You drop the classic, you know, you start around here, jiggle the weapons all the way there, and you can tuck yourself in this corner right here. Like very rarely, players in the first round observe this type of a corner that you create with this toxin. You're you're going to win, you're going to either trade yourself or take more than two kills, like 90% of times with this type of a strategy. It is 10 times better than playing some kind of a default shit immediately. You're just chilling here. When you hear the enemies around this corner, that corner, or, you know, on the pipes, you can activate the wall, wait for the perfect moment when the enemies initiate the push, camp here, wait for the enemies to pass you. Even if the enemies are spamming you here for a bit, still stay here. Maybe, like, if they have a charlatan or some smart player, you know, they're gonna do this. But look at this shit, like... You know, it looks like uh, nobody can hide there. Perception of uh, bodies in Valorant is completely screwed up. Basically, in CSGO, when I'm clearing an angle, play, I know exactly when I need to stop clearing some angle and position. In this game, like, you know, sometimes I clear the angle and, you know, at this edge, there is a fucking enemy there, like, somehow. The number dos would be, from this position, you know, you can position the regular smoke on top of the... 410 generator and when you're positioning this smoke in every single round what you want to do you always want to leave this small gap here where you can actually play on the 410 generator and outmaneuver the enemies through this position and try to surprise them from this angle by the frenzy by the snake bite chill here like camp for a second wait for the enemies to push you activate the wall wait for the enemies you know to initiate the push and you can camp here for a second. Then, when the enemies are using the rope or passing you down there, you can try to peek them, kill one enemy, and then reposition yourself like uh, at the back of the site. Please just stay away from doing this. Like some player players, what they do is they do the wall like this, or they do a wall that looks like this. This is terrible, man, because you completely fuck up your teammates to get any information. Yeah. I mean, you literally give the smoke to the. <laughs> To the enemies, bro, like, what the fuck? In the previous round, enemies committed to the A, they failed horribly, so in this round, it makes a lot of the sense to play on B and expect some kind of a split through the mid. So that is why, in this round, it's completely fine that we're playing B site. That game decision is good. This molly is also great. Uh, only, only thing that I don't like right here is how you position yourself uh, overall to take this gunfight. Like, you, you needed to have more safety here. If you think that right now enemies can swing you, like, I don't know, three enemies at the same time, and you can potentially kill one enemy and get traded, that's a stupid positioning. You, I'm always striving to position myself in a way where, you know, I can take a kill and get the fuck out, or at least damage the enemies for, for a bit. So here, you know, yeah. like, it doesn't make sense to go to the, to the, to the right side at all. Opted. 
still too low. Yeah, like this one. No. <laughs> 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 Okay, listen, this flank was great uh, for multiple reasons. Number one reason is uh, uh, this right here. Basically, you completely uh, completely changed the pace of the game because nobody flanked in your team up to this point. And in the middle of the match, it's completely fine to go for these lurks and flanks, especially if the game is going hard hard in your favor or the game is just going to absolute shit, like when, when it is a one-sided match. But also here, we can blame a Valorant a bit, to be honest, like... Uh, <clears throat> that looked a bit on the on the head, at least for me. But let's see this. I really, I really wonder if that was a kill. So yeah, this was this was good, and then no, it's just ah, look at this man. Uh, where where the fuck did that bullet go, man? Oh yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that bullet, I don't know, probably hit here, but that is bullshit, man. Like, literally. Uh, look at this. Like, what is that, bro? Come on. Here, you need to help mid. Mid, 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 mid! <laughs> Basically, like, uh, you know, the trademark was deactivated, plus the Sova was mid, you know, like, one enemy could have been in the tube. Wanted to check, like, if that Sova is aggressing your jet or not. No, 74. Oh, 74. Okay. Yeah. One side, 74. Uh, he's oh, running back, he's running back. Hey, man. Hey, man. He, he is right, he is right. right. Go right. Okay, man, stop wasting time. Like, this is, uh, this is something that we discussed so many times throughout our sessions, like, we're three versus one. Do we give a shit? Where this sage is, no. Uh, our main focus is to play with one of our teammates and stick to their buttholes. With which teammate is best to play right now? With a teammate that is most aggressive and teammate in the most amount of danger. Right now, I would just rotate to Reyna, tell my jet to watch the mid, and basically I would just stick to the Reyna's butthole because I see that Reyna sees the blood in her eyes. Like, Reyna is ready. Cody, Cody. <laughs> Do you have anything to say in your defense? Get out of my way. Ooh, uh, when the jet has the ultimate, like, uh, my primary focus is always to observe the top of the tube. Sage hit 130, she picked up off the other. Uh, I just tried to wing it there, but... <laughs> <laughs> nice try, nice try, nice try. <laughs> it, it, it went like to, 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 to the breeze, man. You know, whenever you need to do this type of improvise, like uh, lineups, just use, you know, the the tool that I have given you. But in this example, like, you didn't have time to do that. Like, essentially, you smart ping the position which you want to Molotov. So let's say I think the Sage is gonna plant the spike there. I'm gonna ping that position, and on the minimap, as soon as this circle, yeah, this sound bar is crossing the, the smart ping there. I'm dropping my Molotov. I'm running forward and I'm doing this. Also, you need to be aware of these type of shits. Like, this is gonna happen yeah, sometimes. Yeah. And basically, the Molotov always lands on that position that you're smarping. Like, this stack saved my life on Breeze so many times. What the fuck was that, man? This wall. Terrible, man. Like, literally, you know. The whole point of this wall at the end of the day is just to. To plan the stupid spike and then live a happy life. I love that you're applying this type of a pressure. Like, this is a number one recommendation for every Viper player uh, on Icebox. Uh, uh, always keep this toxin in the middle. Keep it activated at the start of the round. Apply the pressure onto the enemies. And then in some of the eco halby round or some specific round during the match, you can use it to flank or lurk behind the enemies. After this VOD review, we did one game of backseat coaching, which ended up being very interesting with my Omen strategist on Bind. And, by the way, you can watch all of these coaching sessions live on my Twitch channel for absolutely free. Here, this time. Actually, go with the judge. Would, go I with the judge. Play too. No, no, go judge. Do the same strategy. Yeah, go judge. I will find you. Oh, sell, sell flash, sell flash. That's it. Wait, 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 wait. Three, two, one, now. Shadows traveling. Yeah, jiggle pig like that. Uh, uh, enemy. enemy! Yeah, baby! Go back on sight. Fuck it, fuck it. No need to fight. Cover going out. They go with him? Oh, no, no, no. Go back on... Never mind, never mind. Do the, do the... You know, like the cubby again. B. Yeah. Cover going out. They can... Mission failed. Listen, 
uh, when, when you're positioning that cubby smoke. Like, you really need to hug the wall uh, in, in, when you're playing around that smoke. So the smoke doesn't fuck up your vision, you know, like like you did in this round. I think this is an A push, like. Wanna do the all famous, like, uh, strategy? Mm -hmm. let's, okay. let's try it, let's try it. We immediately pre place the no truck blind. smoke. Pre place the truck smoke. Yeah. Cover going out. Shadow or strike. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> I, need I need here heal. One enemy remaining. Good job, good job. Listen, uh, the, the, the smoke on the site needs to be a bit deeper towards the enemies, you know? And also, like, you really need to start using the teleport in the same time you're using the shrouded steps. So you mas mask out the, yeah, 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 the yeah. sound. And also, like, you need to nail down that, uh, that jump from the truck into the lamps to be much cleaner you need to nail down this like there's no debate like uh, so the enemies don't hear you end of the story and when you sell this type of a strategy what you can do is extend your push like don't be afraid to go for for yeah, this yeah, play yeah. for this play even and try to you know experiment a bit more okay. no no before before you blind wait uh, teleport on top of the, of the wall yeah. and, and try to clear the belong area uh, cross her a bit higher a bit higher a bit more to the left. That should be fine. Say it again, sorry. That, that should be fine. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you aim literally above these game changers on on this part of the billboard, and that's it. You don't need to you don't need to do anything. You see, it's like already there. You immediately you just spam your teleport. You know you don't spam it actually. Like wait for the barrier to go down, and. You just pick that angle, kill the enemy, end of the story. And then, after you clear the B-Long in this way, that is when you're going here to do this flash. Because there is absolutely no way that your teammates are gonna push into the window before you do this. You know, like, they will always take some time. You, you wouldn't go with the truck this time, would you? No, 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 no truck this time. Try to teleport uh, below the site, below your smokes. Joke's over! Sure you you're dead! Do the smokes fast, smokes fast. Smoke, 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 smoke. Flying close. Flash close left. On the truck. <laughs> Phoenix flash went into the into the into the teleport. <laughs> In this round, if I was you. I will do the, the ultimate play. yeah the TP play you know like in, right, one more time guys. Uh, prepare the one way smoke immediately. Right now it's preparation time. Prepare the one way one way smoke one way smoke. Yeah, so you don't miss it. Don't move for an inch. Just press the a bit, a bit down, a bit down, a bit down. Uh, that that should do it. Yeah, that, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, good. Elbow. Go. Watch the side, watch the side. I've got your trail. Behind you. Are you guys rotating out? <laughs> Do you hold the off angle here or I peek? Yeah, off angle. Cover going out. Play with the jet. Not through the smoke, get out of there. You're not going there. Okay, they're, they're on site both. Tube, tube. Two site, two site. What's he looking at? What I would do there is just jiggle peek that corner, that angle in the elbow. Like, you don't need to fight at all. Like, just play on the contact of the... Just wait for the jet to do the job. Now, another thing when it comes to these one-way smokes, like... Essentially, doorway, and what's fucking you up is primarily the, the the high. Sometimes you put it way too high, and it drops. You see this, 
Yeah. You're just putting your smoke way too high. Like, you need to just imagine how does this doorway looks like here. Like, this is the top of the doorway. And use the edge here and here to line up your smoke. And you'll be totally fine. Like, uh, I mean, basically, in one round you put it way too high, another this, this, but it's just practice, man. Like, and this smoke is always better than than the regular smoke. Like, uh, always better. Like, uh, you're playing post point read, whatever you're doing. Now, when your Reyna is here and you want to protect your teammates from some stupid push because you need to remember that with omen utility you don't only navigate uh, the enemies but also you navigate your teammates you have the numbers advantage why would any idiot peek this or push this no no reason to do that so here instead of giving the reina this type of a smoke you should have instantly given her a one way up here and this smoke this allows her to do this type of a stupid peek plus you know if the enemies pick this, they're probably dead. Now, when you go for this ultimate play here, you know, like, you just need to focus first on the site, clear this, and then you focus on the long, and that's it. It works, like, you know, 9 out of 10 times, you're gonna find some kind of a kill. You need to replace uh, this smoke with this smoke 10 out of 10 times. Okay, I, I, so you put it for on the further corner of it? Yeah, yeah. So, so basically it doesn't give this gap. Like, what you did here is you position it like this, and then you give the enemies this type of a gap which they can use to push from this position okay. so th this is much better the, the the one that i did previously is much better okay man i hope this was right, cool. beneficial for you like i mean we had like six coaching sessions i hope that you learned something new and i can't wait like to see like what what, what you will do next yeah, i appreciate it man all a good man all a good man See you later, gorillas. <laughs> take care, bro. Take care, man. <laughs> Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on for some future epic content. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment to boost the YouTube's algorithm. Join my Discord server if you want to get the best Valorant coaching programs for your improvement. And down in the description below, you can find all of my other social media. I'm yours, one and only... Warden of the Tricksters community, thank you for watching and cut, baby!